Hi, this is Watamat. Welcome to my channel. So, ChatGPT is really a very hot topic at the moment, and everybody talks about it. So, I wanted to test how good ChatGPT is to learn PyScript. I created already an article where I tried to explore how good ChatGPT works for a writing PyScript, and unfortunately for me, it's not satisfying enough. So, let's try to understand if it's good to learn PyScript. Let's start by just asking ChatGPT how to learn PyScript. And let's see what it will end up saying us. So as you can see, it created us a um, pretty nice description for uh, how to uh, learn uh, PyScript. And I think it created a few bullet points and, you know, just looking shortly at it, you can see that it actually um, makes sense. So, um, if to, to, to explore like other possibilities, you can ask something more concrete. So we can say, okay, um, create me an um, eight-week plan to learn Python script, and let's see if um, it will be able to create you like a useful plan to learn Python script, and let's see how will it look. So as you can see, it created us like a eight week plan to learn PyScript and honestly, I think it's quite good, you know, for, for a machine, it created you a plan and most of these kind of points make sense. So as you can, as you, as you know, like ChatGPT is really good for text kind of questions. So let's start to ask, you know, particular questions about PyScript and how to code in PyScript. So let's ask how to code a strategy in PyScript to see um, if it will get it. So we, we go to another textual output for our question, and I think here it starts to, um, you know, to say, I start to see kind of discrepancies in like answer of ChatGPT reality because I don't see, you know, any actual help on how to code a strategy in PyScript. So next, let's start to ask him, you know, particular questions. So um, let's ask how to add stop loss to a strategy in PyScript. So it ended up with a piece of code and some description for it. I think description makes sense, it's more or less all textual answers for ChatGPT, but code doesn't make any sense because you can see here we have like stop loss equal to 100 and this is stop loss in points but actually a stop parameter in a strategy exit get a price and not uh, points so you should use um, profit and loss parameters to get to set stop loss in points so as you can see it's he's not correct all the times so now let's ask some something kind of uh, simpler so how to um, plot a box in um, in Python script? So we eat it up with an, with a, an answer, and you can see here's the code, and it absolutely have no have, have no sense. So it's just some you know parameters that you can plot to plot like line at zero, and definitely it doesn't make any sense. So you know, for me, like, um, I think ChatGPT is relatively good when you ask a question, it can answer with text because it's kind of learned to know the text very well. But if it requires any coding, especially in a language not so popular as PyScript, it actually doesn't make any sense. So for me, like, how you can use it probably is just to ask some questions, like, for example, let's say, uh, what uh, is repainting in um, trading view. So I think this kind of questions it needs to um, to sort out quite well and answer you with more or less logical things. But if in terms of coding, I'm not satisfied with the, with the results as you can see. So as you can see, we end up with, um, with like a few paragraphs of, of text about you know repainting in trading view, and for me they make more or less sense. You know, it's um, it, it's kind of cool. Another thing I want to test in PyScript is, for example, if you have like any errors. So for example, here I have an error copied from 
uh, from with one of my scripts and I can ask ChatGPT uh, like how can I fix it so it ended up with an, an answer again and you know um, you know some text seems to make sense you know if you take a quick view but the code example is quite weird you know it doesn't explain you what actually happening so I cannot say that I'm like satisfied too much with this answer as well uh, what I think is that um, it actually should be good if you're not only learning Pinescape but also you're trying to get some you know, technical analysis for example you can ask a question it should uh, be able to answer pretty well so for example okay um, list me the um, list me the best uh, momentum indicators and this is kind of text question it should be able to kind of parse you know multiple sources of you know analysis technical analysis and just bring you you know some descriptions of it and some you know ideas of like what are the best but kind of uh, momentum indicators for example so as you can see, we got a pretty decent answer. It listed us like a few indicators, so it more or less makes sense. Another thing you can ask, for example, if you see like high, high value of like ADX, what it means. You can ask him, okay, what high value of ADX means. So as you can see, we got another pretty good answer where it listed us what you know like low, high, uh, and moderate you know ADX trend means. So it like seems quite well. So what I can say like as a conclusion for me, uh, still ChatGPT is like a text tool, and actually I'm using it when I'm writing articles to have some sort of like an outline of the articles to get like ideas for the articles to get a plan for the article. I think it's quite good because so many people are using it so much and also it able basically to 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 download basically like entire internet on and based on this internet it can actually produce you pretty decent text uh, answers but everything that related to coding especially coding for not so popular and which is PyScript for me is not so well and even for learning PyScript I think it's better you know to go to uh, you know to some you know materials uh, courses and this kind of stuff because you can get like an answer that actually doesn't work in reality uh, so i think that's it for this video i'll see you next one